Because my understanding is that the Royal Mail are pretty clear about what it is that they want in certain areas. Mick Lynch just stands on a platform and says, I'm going to grind Britain to a halt and cost this economy tens of billions of pounds. Oh, yeah, don't worry. I've got full public support. How can the public support something? They've got no idea what he wants. I had Greg Smith on earlier, Conservative MP, Transport Select Committee member, who said to me that his understanding is that Mick Lynch wants something basically unobtainable, way above inflation. If the public knew that, they wouldn't support it. Again, I, I've been on RMT uh, picket lines to talk to those workers, and surprisingly, in some ways, uh, in the near, in the university, uh, there were some people who run an exam uh, board who were on strike. I've been to talk to them all. In the background, there there is real anger that the government seemed to have one rules for themselves both during COVID and since, they've mm. made many of their friends uh, really rich. And workers right. were in the railways, in Royal Mail, in uh, lecturers, teachers, mm. nurses, have all fallen behind. And that's the commonality of what's happening. Right. We've got a government ruining the economy in, okay. in a very, very unfair way. Well, I'm going to say, you say ruining the economy. I mean, a lot of the damage done to our economy was during lockdowns, which Labour wanted harder, faster, stronger lockdowns, didn't they? But I'll, I'll, I'll whiz that one back. I just want to ask you about whether or, whether or, yeah, you did, whether or not you think that things would be worse in terms of strikes or better under a Labour government. Because there is that trope that... Labour is in the back pocket of the unions. I'm reading here, you know, affiliated unions pay an annual fee to the Labour Party. In return, they elect 13 of the 39 members of Labour's NEC, 50% of the delegates to the Labour Party conference. Mick Lynch wants a Labour government because he can control you. If I was just come back on COVID, okay. some of us made the point then that a great deal of money was wasted to no purpose. Huge amounts, 37.5 billion on test and trace to no effect. I agree I differed with my own leadership on that, mm. but those chickens have come home to roost now. The structure of the Labour Party has been as it is now for more than 100 and, uh, 120 years or so. There's no, se there's no secret to the relationship with the trade unions. I think that, to answer your point directly, I think the relationships would be better uh, because Labour would talk to the trade unions. What's happened, particularly on rail, but also with Royal Mail, is that the government have made the judgment that we're living in 1979 and a political attack well, on the trade unions will get them votes. And I think they're wrong.